Last year's suspension of live cattle exports to Indonesia had a devastating effect on the industry here at home. Today at BFEX I spoke to Greg Pankhurst and Dicky Arawosa to explain the impact on their business in Indonesia. Well, uh, at the beginning it was, uh, there was misunderstanding. Uh, our minister thought when he had the telephone conversation with the minister here, there was uh, understanding that each would handle their own uh, issues and it's on a friendly basis. But then the next day he got his uh, ban, so he was taken very hardly to become a very nationalistic issue. The live export suspension, uh, which occurred in the early June 2011, closed our business uh, for a period of around three months. So during that time, we uh, we had to gear up with SCAS and uh, upgrade our facilities, train our people, install stunning, uh, and get online for our audits and our approval by DAP, so that we could start import again in mid August 2011. Initially, we, we spent around about a million, 1.2 million dollars on the uh, on the upgraded facilities and, and purchase equipment, and we have an ongoing cost of about 50 to 70 thousand dollars per month on uh, on just general auditing, staffing, uh, uh, repairs of service, uh, just general operations of the trade. Oh, look, obviously the the numbers have been decreased quite dramatically, and that's uh, there's a number of reasons for that. Uh, one of them is. Uh, the self-sufficiency uh, drive by the Indonesian government. Uh, and so look, I believe things will, will uh, pan out and, and calm down within the next two years, two to three years, so it's not a short-term sale, it's a, it's a medium-term sale, but yeah, things will change.